welcome back to Joanne Tech Lover. I'm Joanne and today I'll be doing a video on this NZXT Doco PC streaming device. So how does Doco work? Well, Doco, the device, connects into your network and then you can use your PC, let's say that's in your bedroom, and then go ahead and stream the content from that PC to the TV in your living room. Because let's say you don't have a big screen TV in your bedroom and you have one in your living room, your friends are over, or you can play games on it, or you could stream media content, or anything your PC can do, Doco can do too. So why else this is great? Because you won't have to spend a bunch of monies to build that HTPC and you could just doko it. Yeah. Here's everything that comes in the box. You get the doko itself, which I'll talk about in more detail in just a bit. First, let's take a look at some of the other accessories. So you get a quick start guide and it is quick indeed. It just lists out one, two, three, four, five, and that's all you need to do to set it up. It's very quick and easy. And then, they also provide you an ethernet cable, which is nice. And it's long enough if you have, let's say, your router in your living room and then you can plug straight into your router. However, my modem slash router um, was in my room. So luckily I found a 25 foot ethernet cable that I could plug in. <laughs> anyway, so yes, that's how that works. And then here is your power connector, of course, to power the doko. Let's take a look at the dimensions first. So this doko measures 108 millimeters or 4.2 inches by 121 millimeters or 4.7 inches and it is 29 millimeters or 1.1 inches thin. And it is tiny, also very lightweight. Well, not that lightweight, at 0.32 kilograms or 0.7 pound. Anyway, it's just really great because it's so stealth looking and it's just, you can put it anywhere and no one would be the wiser. Alrighty, and as for the design, as you can tell, it's in all black. And there's even some soft touch finish all along the top, love it. On this edge of the doko, you get four USB 2.0 ports with USB over IP, so you can plug in a mouse or keyboard. It's like plugging in that device into your PC in your room if you're using this in your living room. And you can also plug in an Xbox 360 controller as well. And next to the ports, you have the power button. On this edge is the power port as well as HDMI port. This is for plugging in the doko into your TV. HDMI cable is not included, but I had a few, so it's fine. And also next to that is the audio port for plugging in a pair of headphones. They're still working on the tech for headsets, but uh, anyway, moving right along, this is the network port for plugging the doko into your router, or in my case, you know, modem router in the room. And using the gigabit connection to your network, you'll get low latency, 50 to 80 milliseconds, high def 1080p, 30 FPS streaming capability. As for the doko specs, you get the Wonder Media 8750 CPU, 256 megabytes of DDR3 RAM, and two gigs of storage. Make sure to download the Doco software for your PC before plugging everything in. NZXT recommends using the Doco with Windows 8 and above. However, it did work with my Windows 7 too. I've got the Doco all plugged in. Here's the ethernet cord that's running to the host computer in my room and we're using the living room TV right now, Samsung 37 inch 1080p. And then here is the HDMI cable that uh, came from my collection, <laughs> plugged into the TV and then the power a connector that powers this little device. Now I'm going to plug in this wireless receiver into this part of the doko so that I can go ahead and use the Logitech K400 wireless keyboard that I love so much for TV watching. Okay, the doko is plugged in and my wireless keyboard is plugged in. Just have to click this area here, but let's go to the settings and see what you've got available. Okay, about save computer, system reset, update, password, network, awesome. Now let's go back and go ahead and go into mi computadora. As you can see, same desktop of my uh, computer in the room. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new window. And that way you can check out Joanne Tech Lover. One sec. There it is, see? Basically, sorry about that, it's my clicking. Anything your computer can do, this can do. But why don't we go ahead and load up a game so that we can truly see what the color streaming is like and if it lags or cuts off or not. So let's go ahead and look up Transistor. All right, the Transistor game has loaded and I just really want to show you because this game has great color as well as awesome graphics. So let's get started. Let's run around and kill some stuff, yeah. Now what's really cool about this game is you could um, set up a strategy where you can kill them in one go using several moves instead of doing it one by one in real time. So let's check this baby out. 
Yeah. Gonna this? massacre you, sucker. Heck yeah. <laughs> wow, that's pretty sick. Anyway, um, well, I hope you enjoyed this gameplay. And um, if you did, hopefully you'll see that the doko is pretty awesome. Well, that wraps up this look at the NZXT Doko PC streaming device. And if you like what you saw and you want to see more like it, be sure to hit the like, comment, and subscribe buttons, as well as follow me on social media, Joanne Tech Lover Facebook fan page, Joanne Tech Lover again on Twitter, and Joanne Tech Lover once more on Instagram. Also, please don't forget to hit the donate button so you can help expand the channel and feed this techie. One last thing is storeenvy.com where you can go ahead and purchase my 8.5 by 11 inch autograph prints. I guess all that's left to say is bye bye!